be there. And now you're only selecting the circle. Now move through the keyframes to frame one, because that is where we first keyframed. That is where we keyframed the top of the key first. So, um, so your head, even between zero and one, is uh, still over the cape where you want it. And uh, uh, just go a little farther, move it a little more, because I moved it still. And there, your head stays above your cape most of the time. Oops, yeah, I made it for one second, never mind. Okay, there's your one second. There. So now the whole time the head follows the top of the cape. And, uh, yeah, all the way to the end. Now that that's done, we can take it out of in an animate editing mode. And now it's green, so we can't edit anything now. If we try to move something, uh, you, you cannot do that because you have to be in editing mode, or you have to move something before editing mode. So now that you've animated everything that you want to animate, <coughs> go to the top arrow in your thing, File, Preview, and Preview, and Play. And there is a short kind of test animation of your own. So. I encourage you to try this program because it is one of the best cartoon animation programs I've ever used. Um, well, one last thing to render in your um, uh, workspace window, the top arrow on the top left here, File, Render, and then it brings up all your uh, render settings. File name, choose. If you click choose, this uh, brings up your file um, browser, so if you just click desktop, double click it actually, it'll have a little watch to show you that it's loading. And now it'll save in the desktop, and then you specify a name. Uh, specific name, and uh, it saves as um, images. I don't know why, that's just how they made it, so. Uh, I uh, like to use .jpg, which is a JPEG image, just uh, easier to and easier to use. So once you're done, uh, save it in a save it in a file by itself. Like here, I have test anime, which lets me save all of the pictures in one file all by themselves. But I forgot to do that today, so I just click here, right click on the desktop new folder. Make sure you're not as dumb as me. Make sure you have a folder already set. Okay. And, um, yeah. Um, and now if we just go to owner, and then we come back to desktop, it'll have here, lucky enough, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Where are we? Let's see, somewhere around here. We should have a... Ah, uh, here. New folder, because I just created it, and now it's empty. There's nothing inside of this new folder, and then we've already named it, so click Save. And uh, quality, you want to bring that all the way up, which is 9 don't know why. Anti-aliasing. Uh, go ahead and bring that all the way up too. Which is, I think it kind of makes the edges sharper. I think that's what it does. I don't know, you might want to experiment with that. Um, and then all the other uh, properties here, the time, the other, the other the image. So just, we've, we've already done everything we need, so just click render. And now it is rendering. The only thing I don't like about this is it doesn't have a status bar, and I'm like, aw. But anyway, since it's only two seconds, it's already done re file rendered successfully. There we go. Um, now you can go ahead and minimize all of these boxes for the Cinefix Studios. Now it's all in this new folder. Uh, this new folder that I made, I should have made before. And here are all of the frames. So here's the end frame. And there's 
just a f start frame. So now, what do we do? We've got a gazillion pictures here. They're just frames. Uh, go ahead and minimize or exit out of new folder and open up LS Maker. This is like the best program in the world. Okay, maybe not the world, but it is one of the best program free programs in the world. That's yeah. for lightsabers anyway. Okay, go ahead and full screen if you want. And uh, click import, add, and then go to your desktop or wherever you saved it into the new folder. And then Alt A, select all, click open, click OK, and there you go. Everything is saved. Everything is in LS Maker, all the frames, just like it was a video in LS Maker. So now click export AVI. And uh, from to on to click end 48. Okay, and then image properties to make it a higher quality 32 bit. I think I don't know that's what I always use, but okay. And then uh, pick a file name and like my videos, I'll just save it on the desktop. Uh, animation test.avi save and then the um quality compression I mean this actually messes with your quality so go ahead and drop this down and scroll all the way down to full frames uncompressed this does not mess with the quality it does not lower the size either so just kinda you know and it also depends on what codecs you have you got uh, some of these you might not have some of these you do and it's hard to find them so I just use full frames uncompressed that does not require anything and click OK and it renders done. Now we can click out of LS Maker. And on the desktop, here is our video that we just made. And there it is. I usually open up things in de by default in um, by default I open up pro uh, videos in a virtual dub, just so you know. Now you click play, and there you go. Your guy just walked across. And what's it, what a good thing about using uh, LS Maker is it basically it put every all the frames all the pictures in the new folder I created and put it together as a video so we just saved as API that was all we had to do now in virtual dub now we can go to uh, video frame rate now we can mess uh, click uh, change frame rate to FPS and now we can mess with our own personal frame rate now right now it's too fast which is 25 FPS right there it says no change current 25 FPS. Let's change that to 15. Then click OK. Play both, and it slows it down for us. That is the beauty of using Virtual Dub, LS Maker, and Synfix Studio all at once. That is my tutorial. I hope it's not too long to upload on YouTube. If it is, I'll probably just cut and ha cut it in half and have two parts, which it will be my first two-part tutorial, which is awesome. But anyway, uh, there you go. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know if you if you need help with anything else. I recorded this with Cam Studio, which is another awesome program. If you need a tutorial for Cam Studio, I don't, I don't know. It's actually kind of easy to use. I don't, if you need that, then I'll go ahead. Just let me know, because I use this and a lot of people don't know about it. But yeah, anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if you I can help you with anything else. Message me, email me, whatever I need. Uh, some feedback because right now there is like nothing going on with my company whatever so yeah I've got a lot of free time I'm still writing those movies still planning all testing effects whatever it's all a little ways from now still looking for actors still writing scripts whatever so I have a lot of free time go ahead and message me email me for new tutorials if you need them and uh, this was a pirate 92a on YouTube if you can, please visit my website, which is on my YouTube channel. If you are watching from my website, rock on. You're awesome.